Virtual reality is one of my favourite things, however despite that, I've never really committed to giving VR chat a proper go, so today that changes. Today I take a full dive into the VR chat universe and explore why it has such an active user base. Will I learn anything, or will I be pretty disappointed? Alright, this is the first day of- I'm gonna consistently play VR chat every day of the week for like at least two hours or something like that. Probably like at least one hour. I went into this uh, challenge with some very low expectations. I expected to be spending one or two hours inside VR chat uh, a day and calling it that. Uh, however, I ended up spending considerably more time inside VR chat, uh, just meeting people, learning, watching, and interacting with the community as a whole. My experience with day one was just so negative that I genuinely worry that if I spent 50 to 100 dollars on Watchmen dongles that they would just end up in the draw 90% of the time. Day one started as pretty much every other interaction I've ever had on VR chat, pretty much just negative. I've had I had people straight up just block me immediately because my avatar wasn't, I guess, to their standards. Just kind of people being rude. Already early on I was kind of not really not really wanting to continue with the video and I was really you know, only persisting for the sake of the video. I'm in a, I'm, I'm only persisting for the sake of the channel at the moment, really. Like, I would very much just give up and just go play Pavlov or something instead. So yeah, day one, not a very good experience. Okay, so I'm here on day two of this uh, adventure into the metaverse. Now that I've had some time to sleep on it and, you know, basically consider everything. Last night I, I was lying down in bed and I was like, the fuck's what's the point of it like i've just had like basically negative experiences thus far um so all i'm gonna be doing is telling vr in a bad light which kind of goes against my core message um i don't have much time this morning so it's gonna be like me in the morning at like five past six and also like like at like four when i get home or something like that i guess um so yeah i guess Guess we'll see what uh, what day two has for us. Day two was definitely a lot better. Uh, early on, during the morning played session, I met someone who had a like a really cool Metal Gear Rising avatar, and it even had like a like a working combat system and everything. Uh, so I got to to fight in in VR chat, which I thought was really really cool. Um, as I didn't really think VR chat had that sort of capability yet, and it really did begin this journey of eye-opening into the world of VR chat and social VR as a whole. So that concludes day two in the metaverse, in VR chat. Definitely had a much better experience than the first day, so definitely going to be continuing on into day three. You know, got the Metal Gear avatars that have all those cool things. Um, couldn't get them in the work myself, however, but it definitely was cool seeing that that was possible. Really pumped for day three, so... This marks the beginning of day three spent inside VR chat. I don't really have any plans uh, for today, really. Nothing particularly special happened on day three. I just kind of roamed around Black Cat instances, showing people my spring joint ball thing that I had added to my avatar prior. It was just a pretty chill day that I didn't really have any negative experience with, and just talked to some really interesting people, really. So day four of this uh, little experiment that I'm doing here, um, yeah, uh, I am having a bit of a issue though with, I guess, time, you know, it feels like time moves a lot differently in VR and it's completely in my head, but a lot of day two and day three feel longer, like, it definitely does feel like I've been spending more time here than what I actually have. So at this point in the experiment, uh, I had beginning to get feelings of a weird time dilation effect, uh, it felt like uh, I'd been inside VRChat and I'd been playing for VRChat for a lot longer than I actually had. Uh, as I was only on day four, it felt like I'd spent upwards of two or three weeks, uh, not on end, but like it, it's, it felt like I'd been playing for two or three weeks. I think this is due to the, the lack of any sort of time presence inside of VRChat. For example, the vast majority of the worlds don't have any sort of day-night filter or even a clock. And despite the new menu redesign, that doesn't even have a have a clock at all uh, on the new menu. Uh, so that leads me to associate 
every world that I visit with a subsequent day, quote unquote. Uh, I believe this is what's causing it, and I'll keep persevering with this, and uh, maybe I'll eventually grapple with the fact that time just feels like that. This is actually day five now. Like, this is the start of day five. Um, yeah, I just kind of got really engrossed in day four, and um, yeah, so I didn't really like do much. Like, well, no, I did a lot, but like, I didn't really film film the ending to day four. Really, I met this like cool person who was like, um, I think they were Chinese and like didn't know much English, so that was really fun. Um, it was really hard to talk to them, but uh, you know, then I met someone else who was like, um, who was like a mute, who was also Australian, which was was cool. It kind of put me because like I've been meeting like a lot of cool people. I almost don't want the the challenge to end like the. I came into this with a pretty negative view on VR chat and social VR as a whole, just because of the experiences I have had in it um, being predominantly negative. Um, however, since giving it an actual proper go um, for a prolonged period of time, um, I've actually had really positive experiences and met some really interesting people. Obviously, I don't have to stop the channel. Like, I can still play VR chat. I can still make, if I want, I can still make more videos on VR chat and everything. Like, I don't have to stop playing the game. But it does feel like once this challenge is ended, I probably am going to end up playing it less and less. You know, because I'll be less like push. Like, I've got a project to finish right now. I still do really want to play it though. Um, more than, especially more than I used to. But I definitely won't be playing it every waking minute of my free time like I am for the sake of this video. I can genuinely see why so many people choose to spend all of their free time inside VRChat. Nowhere else do you get like such an interesting collaboration of people in a world where you have at least some form of physical sense of them. So anyway, to honor this, I bought full body tracking. Leave a like, um, because this is not cheap. This has just been such an experience though. I'm really enjoying it now. I came into it with such a, like, a negative light as well. Yeah, this is the new avatar that I'm going to be using. So with day four, I think the challenge really came into its own, commercially and artistically. The whole day just had a really clear and crisp vibe and a new sheen of consummate professionalism that really made me enjoy my experience. All jokes aside, it was genuinely probably one of the most turning point of days, I guess you could say. It's the Wednesday after I concluded the challenge that I concluded on Sunday, so it's like three days later, and I've still basically spent every waking minute in VR chat that I really conceivably can. I had made my first, uh, I guess, friend that I would, that I guess I consistently talk to uh, now, uh, which is insane. It's such a controversial, unparalleled medium. There is nothing like VR chat that lets you talk to so many people from so many different walks of life and so many different places as opposed to I guess physically going to those places take me home to the place I belong I just is business no one dare makes me slip a stranger there among them so yeah much of day five was just spent chilling sitting in one lobby and just listening to someone play music down their mic. Typically in games when you hear someone like spamming music down their mic, and a lot of the time in VR chat too, you just like mute them and block them immediately. It's just not funny apart from a few edge cases. But I don't know, in VR chat if there's like a few of you like sitting around, it's kind of like having like a Bluetooth speaker or something if you go out camping uh, and just listen to that like chill, hearing music at really shitty quality, everyone's singing off key and at different intervals. But there's just something about it that makes it seem quite fun uh, and it was by this point that I was wondering is it feels a little wrong or I'm going in integrating with a whole community making actual friends uh, and it started out just me making like a video like I had no intentions to return to the game after a week and I felt kind of guilty about it I obviously enjoy the game because I didn't give up on the video I guess but I don't know let me know your thoughts is it weird that I make, made this video I'm still gonna make it I'm like 75% of the way done, but is it weird? All right, so that concludes the VR chat experiment. <clears throat> Most of it was pretty chill. I didn't really do much other than mess around with my full body. Oh, 
Casper Slide Part 2 featuring the Platinum Fan. And this time... Uh, I just had a lot of fun vibing around uh, with people and um, basically make like just making friends and messing around with people playing music and just you know, having a fun time and stuff. So yeah, um, pretty chill. Definitely, definitely still learning a hell of a lot. Um, yeah, this game's like nothing, nothing what I thought going into it. I thought it was just going to be a bunch of weirdos and a bunch of shitty quest players bunch of crashes and a bunch of people who are mad at EAC being added. I didn't think I'd meet so many cool people, but I did, so... Yeah.